friends welcome to my channel in this video tutorial let's speak about one of the most commonly asked interview question which is how to swap two numbers without using a temporary variable okay in our earlier days uh, we had this popular question to swap two numbers uh, so uh, the implementation actually carried uh, with a temporary variable so what people usually do is they create a temporary variable and then assign a to b and then um, assign back uh, the value to the temporary variable and easily swap the two numbers where else nowadays um, uh, there's a specific question that has been regularly asked uh, to, uh, to swap two numbers without using a temporary variable okay so let's look at uh, you know a few easy ways on how we can uh, swap these swap two numbers without using a temporary variable so uh, in this example i am going to use a few mathematical operations to actually swap two numbers so okay let's start by defining two variables so let's say we have two variables called x equal to i will assign a value for 100 and y equal to 50 now let me try to print these values okay print uh, let me say before swapping before swapping the values are before swapping mm. so the values are x equal to some value and y x equal to 100 and um, so I'm gonna print the value x after that I'm gonna print the value of y okay so y equal to the value Y. okay so so let me try to run this yeah now it, uh, it gave me an output saying before swapping the value of x is 100 and the value of y is 50 so um uh, no not for people who do not know what swapping is swapping is nothing but just interchanging the elements interchanging the values here we have x equal to 100 and y equal to 50 after swapping the x becomes 50 and y becomes 100 so this is what a simple definition of swap is so now let's look into a mathematical solution of how we can perform swapping okay, now uh, let's sum out these two numbers so x equal to x plus y so by summing up these two numbers in this example what we will get is in this example we will get uh, let me Add a comment so in this example you'll get 100 plus 50 equal to 150 okay so this this is the value uh, after first step so x equal to x plus y now uh, next step y equal to i'm gonna perform a uh, uh, subtraction like y equal to x minus y so now uh, let me see uh, let me uh, write here the example so now y will become x minus y now the x is 150 so in our previous step we found out the value of x is 150 so x minus y x minus 50 is 100 okay so now we got the value of y which is 100 now again um, in order to get a value of x what we are going to do is again we are going to subtract it with x equal to x minus y again so now um, after swapping uh, now after the operation i will have x is x is still 150 and y is currently y is y is 100 so 150 minus 100 equal to now my value of y became 100 and x became 50 okay so this is easier way of swapping once the swapping is done i am gonna print it so just print uh, the same same value yeah. before it was before swapping now i'm gonna give it as after swapping so after swapping yeah so 
before swapping our value of x was 100 and value of y was 50 now after swapping we have uh, x value of x is 50 and y is 100 so it has successfully swapped two uh, values so this is one of the easiest way on how we can swap two numbers uh, in addition to that you can also perform a similar kind of uh, operation using multiplication and division so here in this wherever we had uh, you know plus and minus instead you can use multiplication and division operation to actually perform uh, um, the same operation again we have another interesting method of using xor operator so using xor operator also you can perform swap without um, you can perform swapping without using a temporary variable so probably i would suggest you to try these two um, alternative methods and see how this works out for you and please let me know for any questions okay so that's all what i want to cover as part of the video if you like my channel please subscribe to it thank you